you have a book without book what I, why i am asking without book it is not possible it is not possible for me to give you lots of problems on the same topic i can give you some problems i can practice some problems but now without a book how can you uh, just be acquainted with the things familiar with the things that is the thing so okay so there are 67 so can you practice from practice sina uh where from where from ac sina textbook of mathematics ac ac sina textbook of mathematics uh, i don't know ac pc sina which which syllabus actually it is following this is important are you getting the topics yes, whatever i am teaching i am teaching you as per the syllabus as per the syllabus there is no scope of you know, doing anything outside the syllabus now if your books are having those topics then okay no problem you can take any book okay but the books should be standard enough because there are many books uh, i can tell you these are several printing mistakes okay when i am i am just taking some problem from that book and later when i am uh, discussing this problem i am getting some prob printing mistake so this causes some problem so be careful on that okay okay this problem i discussed in the last class okay let me let me show you that uh, problem sheet also uh, this is actually example this one okay so this one was discussed uh, this problem g problem number g everybody can see it problem number g prove that the locus of centers of curvature at points of the cycloid x is equal to basically this printing mistake x is equal to it should be uh, a of a into t minus sin t a into t minus sin t please write it write it in your note x is equal to a into t minus sin t and y is equal to a into 1 minus cos t now the locus of the center locus of the center of curvature means it means the evolute okay it means the evolute evolute is the locus of the center of the curvature of any curve so this will be another equal cycloid x is equal to a of t plus sin t now this should be t plus sin t the original curve was a into t minus sin t 
and here it will be x equal to a into t plus sin t. Both are cycloid, but there is a small difference, and y is equal to minus of a one minus cos t. Problem number G. Everybody could see it. Is it visible to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, this is the problem. Now everybody should visible. We should see it. So prove that the locus of the center of the curvature at points of the cycloid x is equal to a of one minus sine t, t minus sine t, t minus sine t, and y is equal to a of one minus cos t will be another equal cycloid x is equal to a t plus sine t, y is equal to minus a one minus. So that means we have to show that the evolute of this cycloid evolute of this cycloid is another cycloid which is given in this equation by this parametric equation x is equal to a t plus sin t y is equal to minus a 1 minus sin t okay. again i'm telling the given cycloid will have equation x is equal to a into t minus sin t which is not actually uh, 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 is being shown due to some problem in photography it is not being shown it should be x is equal to a t minus sin t okay now, if anybody could solve this problem, anyone? So let us I solve this problem. Let's just discuss this problem. Okay, let's discuss this problem. How to get this uh, evolute in a parametric equation? Okay. So suppose these equations are given x is equal to a t minus sin t, y is equal to a 1 minus cos t. Then you cannot directly calculate dy dx. Okay. In that case, you have to find the equation in terms of y and x only. In terms of y and x only. That means you have to eliminate t. So that is not very easy uh, to eliminate t and get an equation of x and y. So that is why we will not do it. We will rather uh, evaluate dx dt and dy dt. And then from these quantities, we can compute very easily dy dx. What is dy dx? It, is, it should be dy dt by dx dt. dy dt by dx dt. That will be dy dx. So let us first calculate dx dt. That will be a into 1 minus cos t. Okay. Differentiation of t is 1. Differentiation of sine t is cos t. So it will be a into 1 minus cos t. And dy dt will be a into 1 plus sin t. This one is 0, so only plus sin t. So a sin t. Okay. So dy dx will be dy dt by dx dt. So dy dt is a sin t and dx dt is equal to a 1 minus cos t. A will be cancelled. So it will be sin t by 1 minus cos t. And sin t can be written as 2 sin t by 2 cos t by 2. And cos t, this can be written as 1 minus 2 sine square t by 2. So this one will be cancelled and 1 sine t by 2 will be cancelled from both denominator and numerator. So we are left with cos t by 2 sine t by 2. Okay. I hope everybody is clear. Very simple. I am just writing sine t is equal to 2 sine t by 2 cos t by 2. And here I am writing 1 minus cos t is equal to 2 sine square t by 2. So 2 sine t by 2 will be cancelled. It will be cos t by 2 by sin t by 2, that is cot t by 2. So dy dx is equal to cot t by 2. Okay. Now, second, we will require d2 by dx2. You know, in the formula, you will require y1, y2, both. So d2 by dx2, we will require that is equal to then d dx of dy dx. d dx of dy dx means d dx of cot t by 2. And d dx of cot t by 2, you can, cannot do it uh, directly because cot t by 2 is a variable function of t. So let us write this thing as d dt of cot t by 2 into dt dx by chain rule. By chain rule, we can write d dx of function of t as equal to d dt of function of t into dt dx. So d dt of cot t by 2, that is equal to minus half cos x square t by 2. Okay, very simple differentiation, minus half cos x square t by 2. Cot t as a differentiation, cos x square t. 
and then dt dx. What is dt dx? That is one by dx dt. That is one by a minus a into one minus cos t. So now again, this one minus cos t can be written as two sine square t by two. So this sine square will be in the numerator cos square t by two and a, there will be four a, so minus one by four a and cos x to the power four t by two. Minus one by four a cos x to the power four t by two. This is our d2 by dx2, okay? Now, so our x bar, what is the formula for the center of curvature? x bar equal to x minus y1 into one plus y1 square by y2 and y bar equal to y plus one plus y1 square by y2. So you are putting all these values, x is equal to y1, that is cot t by two here, dy by dx, that is y1, that is equal to cot t by two into one plus y1 square, one plus cot, t, cot square t by two by y2, y2 is equal to this, uh, minus one by four a cos to the power four t by two, this one, so that will be one by four a, this is x bar, and y bar equal to y plus one plus cot square t by two, that is one plus y1 square by y2, Okay, so this will be the thing now. So what you have to do? We have to eliminate X and Y from this. Okay, we have to eliminate X and Y from this. So what you are getting from this equation, X is equal to four A, A cot T by two sine square T by two and y bar equal to y minus 4a sine square t by 2, okay? Very simple, suppose this here, x bar is equal to x minus, now one by four, this minus minus will be plus, one by four a will be four a here, and this one plus cot square t by two, what is this? This is basically cos x square t by two, this will cancel one cos x square, one cos x square will be there, and cos x square will be sine square t by two, and cot is cos by sine, so sine sine will be cancelled, cos d by two, sine t by two, that will be uh, sine t. So x bar is equal to x plus four a, one plus x plus four a, cot t by two, sine square t by two, okay? That is x plus four a, cos t by two, sine t by two. That is x plus two of a, two a into two sine t by two, cos t by two, that is sine t. So x plus two a sine t. I hope this is very clear, this is simple calculation. Similarly, y bar will be equal to y minus 4a sine square t by two, and that is equal to y minus 4a sine square t by two, and that is equal to y minus 2a, and this two sine square t by two, I can write as one minus cos t, okay? Two sine square t by two, I can write one minus cos t. So these are our final equation, x bar equal to x plus 2a sine t, y bar equal to y minus 2a one minus cos t, okay? Now, what is x? Put x here. X is equal to here. A into t minus sin t. We have to eliminate x and y, na? And y is equal to a into one minus cos t. So let us put this x and y in the equation here. So I'm getting a t minus a sin t plus two a sin t equal to x bar. And y bar equal to a one minus cos t minus two a one minus cos t. That will give you x bar is equal to a t plus a sin t that is a of t plus sine t and y bar equal to minus a one minus cos t, okay? This a one minus cos t and minus two a one minus, the minus a one minus cos t. So this is the required, you see, this is the required value. This was proved. Here. X is equal to a of t plus sine t, y is equal to minus a one minus cos t. So I have proved this thing. Now tell me if anyone is having any question on this. Simple calculation, you have to remember the formula. Otherwise, nothing can be done, okay? Sir, formula, repeat kijiya, sir. Yeah, formula, dekho, fir. Yeah, formula, idha, idha. What is the formula? X bar is equal to X minus, note it down, Y1 into 1 plus Y1 square by Y2. These are already, I have, given you the formula in the class note. Please also check the class note. And y bar is equal to y plus one plus y one square by y two. These are the formula.
and the rest of the thing is simple trigonometry, simple trigonometry and differentiation. Okay. Nisha, are you okay? Nisha, you have any question? Yes, sir. No, sir. So got it? Rohit? Yes, sir. Rohit? Rohit Mukherjee, are you in the class? Not in the class. Priya Jha? Yes, sir. You have any question? No, sir. So I do. I think uh, this is clear to all of you. I cannot ask all the 62 uh, students. I'm asking randomly. But uh, if anybody is having any doubt, please respond. Okay. Just remain mute. Adar Sharma. Yes, sir. Any doubt? No, sir. Okay. So I assume that this is clear to all. This is it's actually no uh, the difficult thing, simple calculation. Okay. So let us solve the next problem. This one, another very important question. The question is that uh, for any function fx, which is continuous in the uh, range, in the entire range of real number, so you see that you show f of a plus h. Let, let me first try give you the question. Okay. Let me give you the question first of all. This is the question. If fx be continuous in real domain R. So, f of a plus h plus f of a minus h minus 2fa, sorry, 2fa total by h square. Total by h square. Okay, now limit of this thing, limit of this thing as a is tending to zero. Okay, limit of this thing as I cannot write this way. I'm not using the uh, math editor, just to understand a is tending to zero. A is tending to zero, that will be equal to, that will be equal to, if, This should be capital F, not small f. If double dashed if double dashed sorry. Eight. If double dashed eight. Okay. Can everybody see the question clearly? This is the question. Limit of a is tending to zero. It is actually, I should, I should, should have written this uh, uh, below, but I could not write it. You, understand, you can understand. Limit of a is tending to zero. f of a plus h plus f of a minus h minus twice f a. This divided by a square, total divided by a square. That is why I've given the third bracket. That should be equal to in the limit f double dash. Double dash means second derivative. f double dash at x is equal to a. This we have to show. Okay, everybody got the question? Please write the question at your paper. Then I will we'll discuss the uh, answer. Okay. This is your question.
where a h everything is real number okay ready for the solution now so we have to use the mean value theorem up to second order and separately taking the increment uh, first h and then minus h okay first of all we take an increment positive increment a to a plus h and then we take a negative increment a to a minus h okay at the increment means increment change small change the small change can be in any direction it is not necessary that h should be always positive the, in, the in change can be in the opposite direction also so for the first case when h is uh, positive so we have f of a plus h is equal to f a plus h f dash a plus a square by 2 f double dash a plus theta a, where zero less than theta less than 1 Zero less than theta less than one. Okay. Similarly, for negative h minus h, I can write f of a minus h is equal to f a now plus minus h. That would be the minus h. Okay. Minus h of f dash a because h is minus h replaced by minus h plus now minus h and whole square. What is minus h and whole square? Again h square. So h square by two. This sign will not change. F double dash a minus theta h. Okay. So I'm just putting h is equal to minus h in the first place, first relation. Just put h is equal to minus h in the first relation. So we get the second relation. F of a minus h is equal to f a minus h f dash a plus h square by two f double dash a minus theta h. Now, if you add both side, the left hand side, what will be the left hand side? F of a plus h plus f of a minus h, and the right hand side will be twice f a. Then this part will be cancelled. And this will be h square by two f double dash a plus theta h plus f double dash a minus theta h within this bracket. Okay. Now this two f a if you take in the left hand side that will be f of a plus h minus two f a plus f of a minus h that will be h square by two within bracket f double dash a plus theta h plus f double dash a minus theta h. Now divide with h square so f of a plus h minus two f a plus f of a plus a minus h by h square. Okay, that will be equal to half of this, half of a double dash a plus theta h plus a double dash a minus theta h. Now you take the limit a is tending to zero. So both sides are tending to take the limit. So this will be the required form a f a plus a this much, and that will be half of this a is tending to zero. When a is tending to zero, this theta h and theta h minus theta h all will be very small. We can ignore them, going to zero. F double dash a plus f double dash a. That is twice f double dash a, and that is one half. So it will be simply f double dash a. So we could show the thing. F a plus h minus twice f a by plus f a a minus h by a square. A is tending to zero limit is equal to f double dash a. So remember that you have to solve. You might have to solve some problem by taking the Negative increment, like it is putting h, uh, putting minus h instead of h. Okay, many problem can be solved using this. Everybody is clear. Any doubt? I am using the mean value theorem up to second order. Is this okay? Okay. Next problem. Evaluate minus up to half. Ln ln means natural log. Natural log means log to the base e. Log with a base e, natural log. Log log means uh, the log to the base ten. But sometimes the log log is also used in the natural log sense in uh, eleven twelve book. But actually they should be differentiated. 
uh, ln means natural log with base e. So ln one plus x by one minus x dx. Evaluate this thing. Now see, this is a very good application of proper defined uh, properties of defined integral. Uh, we will uh, observe that this log of uh, one plus x by one minus x. This is an odd function. This is an odd function. How? See. f of minus x equal to log of 1 minus x by 1 plus x and that can be written as 1 minus x by 1 plus x that will be 1 plus x by 1 minus x whole to the power minus 1 okay 1 plus x by 1 minus x whole to the power minus 1 and that minus 1 will be coming outside as the property of log minus of log 1 plus x by 1 minus x that is minus of fx so f of minus x equal to minus of fx That means this is an odd function, and by the property of definite integral, odd function minus a to a will be simply zero. So the integral will be simply zero. You don't have to integrate at all. Everybody is clear on that. Any question? No, sir. But you have to observe this thing, that log of One plus x by one minus x. That is basically an odd function. You have to observe this thing. Okay. So this type of example will be given. Problem will be given. Anyone else? Any doubt? Let me check if I have uh, copied any other problem. Actually, every time I want to discuss, I have to take a photograph, then again solve it. Lots of problem in online class. Example, example thirteen. Fourteen. Sixteen. This problem we have already solved. I don't need to discuss this problem anymore. And there is another problem. This one, I think. Yes, this is also another very good problem. Everybody can see it. Yes, sir. Uh, for any integer n, for any integer n, evaluate. Zero to pi e to the power cos square x into cos to the power cube two n plus one x. That is cos of two n plus one x whole to the power cube. Cos of two n plus one x whole to the power cube. We have to evaluate this thing. Now we will use this property of definite integral zero to a f x dx. That is equal to zero to a f of a minus x dx. We will use this. So let us see what happens. Uh, by using after using this property, so let us i equal to let us take i is equal to zero to pi e to the power cos square x and cos two n plus one x whole to the power cube, the original integral. Now we use this property, so that will be equal to zero to pi e to the power cos of pi minus x and whole square. Okay, f of a minus x, so x will be replaced by pi minus x, so cos of pi minus x and whole square, and that will be cos of two n plus one pi minus x. That is two n plus one pi minus two n plus one x whole to the whole to the power cube dx. Now, what is cos of pi minus x? Tell me, what is cos of pi minus x? Cos x. Cos x. Be sure. The minus cos. 
Ah, minus cos x. This is cos a cos b plus sin s and b. This minus cos x. Now cos yes. of pi minus x minus cos x. I minus cos x and whole square. That is again cos square x. No change. T. Again cos square x. And cos to the power cos of two n plus one pi minus two n plus n. What will be that? Cos a cos b plus sin s and b. Sin s and b is zero. Sin s and b any multiple of pi is zero. You know, sin zero, sin pi, sin two pi, sin all are zero. So sin part is zero. And cos a cos b. Cos of two n plus one pi. What will be that? Cos of two n plus one pi. We should should have, we should not have any doubt in these type of basic things. What is cos of two n plus one pi? What is the result? What is the result? What is the value of cos pi? Tell me. Minus one. Huh? Minus one. Minus, Minus one. one. What is the value of cos three pi? Cos three pi. Sir, minus one. Minus one again. So why are you uh, confusing or fumbling? You should not have any confusion on these basic things. Okay. So cos of two n plus one pi that will be always minus one. So cos a cos b is again minus of cos of two n plus one x. Minus of cos two n plus one. At that cube, cube that means minus one will be there. Minus of cos cube two n plus one x. And this minus will go outside. So that will be minus of i. Minus of i, so i equal to minus i. So two i equal to zero, i equal to zero. So again, this integral will be simply equal to zero. This integral will be simply equal to zero. Now, actually, these two things are or two integrals are zero. Log of one plus x by one minus x, but the reason is different. Listen carefully, and observe carefully. The first integral was zero just because the function is an odd function. Isn't it? And the second integral is zero by this property. Zero to a f x dx equal to zero to a f of a minus x dx. Is this clear? Getting it? So you have to be very careful. In this equation, we cannot use the. You you can ask me why I said did not use this. Uh, Uh, you got to check this odd and even property. You do, did not check it. Why? Because I cannot use this thing. Because can you say why? Why I I did not check the even odd property here? What is the reason? Lower level is zero, not negative. Yes, it is. The integration range is not in the form minus a to a. If it is not in the form minus a to a, or if we cannot convert it to minus a to a, then it is useless. We cannot use the property. So here we have used the different property. So these are the things you should be remembering when solving problem. You should remember all these points. Okay. Okay, in uh, I I don't have any more things to discuss today, but I have already discussed many problems and things of the same type. So actually, now it is your time to practice and uh, uh, yeah, grasp these basic ideas because the uh, class test is very near. But it will not be in the first the last week of January. I think that is due to some pro event in JIS group. It it will be deferred to the first week of February. I think if it should be so. Okay, so that in that is not the issue. I will take the class test, so I will arrange the question, everything. So you better practice all these things. Similar problems. I don't know whether you, you have some books, but your book should contain this type of problem. Similar problems you practice. Okay. So I'm finishing today, and everybody give your attendance and leave. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay
I will also send this paper to you just now. Collect it and solve similar problems. Sir. Okay. Bye. Mm, bolo. Sir, uh, one question. The doubt, tha, sir. Ah, uh -huh. Sir, uh, finding radius Stop. of curvature, sir. There is an equation given, sir. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. So sir, without sir. equation, how can you find no. which which no, sir. curvature? Sir, R is equals to A E theta A, sir A into E power theta cot phi. Acha, so your equation is given in the polar form. Yes, sir. Your equation sir, is given in the polar form. Sir, how so will you, you need a polar polar uh, form of the radius of curvature, na? Yes, sir. Polar form of radius of curvature. Yes, sir. So, so then you how... know these things, polar form. Yes, sir. How we will differentiate it, sir? That it given. Well, you can you can do it. All this this your your curvature formula y y y one into one plus y one whole three by two one plus y one square whole to the power three by two by y two, na? This is your yes, formula for curvature. This can be converted to polar coordinate. This can yes, be sir. converted to polar coordinate. No problem. Okay, okay. I will, I will send you everybody. I am telling, I am telling it for everyone. I will just send you within one half an hour, one hour. Another, another. Um, let me prepare it actually. Another uh, class notes where this part will be given. Okay, I will send you all polar coordinate, polar form of radius of curvature, and how to find the radius of curvature when the equation will be given in the polar form. That is in the r theta form. Okay, this part I will sending it. Okay, let me prepare it, then I will send it. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, I will I will tell you. I will tell you just shortly. Any question? Any more question? Another thing you can do that that will be actually whichever is convenient, you should adopt that method. Another uh, method is that converting the polar equation to Cartesian equation. That can also be done. Polar, uh, converting the polar equation to Cartesian equation. Ultimately, your radius of curvature is a value, and that value is be same. The value will be same for any uh, coordinate representation. Value should not change. Okay. That can also be done. But whichever is, uh, sometimes it will be very difficult to convert the polar uh, curve, polar equation to Cartesian equation. No, rather than it is, it will be easy to use the polar form of radius of curvature. Okay, so it will depend on the equation given situation. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, s